Hello everybody, this is Nintendo14. Welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we took care of some more troubles in the Trouble Center. Some highlights including the Pit of Hunted Trials, saving Pine T Sr., which is Pine T Jr.'s dad. And uh, in this part, we're going to be continuing yet again with, with the troubles. So we're going to begin with... Uh, or, or, uh, let's also mention that... Um, uh, once again, the question mark, question mark, question mark trouble, as long as ST's trouble, I did do during the main story. So you might have to like do a little bit of digging to see what, or how, or just when and how those troubles are like. But for right now, since I've already done those, we're just going to go ahead and just do Mayor Dower's trouble. Would you please deliver the Silver Club newsletter writing slip for me? Please come pick it up at my house in Twilight Town. We'll take on Mar Daryl's trouble and just mm, while I'm doing these troubles, I kind of wish uh, that that I stuck in these troubles during the main story. So, like, say, um, when I uh, did the chapter one troubles, I should have just uh, mm, just stuck him in like in between the chapter four in, or chapter interlude. So, like, say, after I beat chapter one, I do the troubles that you can do uh, you can do during chapter one. Why is my voice just breaking up like that? like bosses like that but oh well that uh, I, I did want to uh, uh what's the word just do all that but you know i i just uh, decided nah i'm just gonna be real fast paced with uh story progression and i would just uh in between chapters i would just uh do what you needed to do in order to uh, progress to the next chapter and that was it so yeah i was uh kind of afraid that uh it, it would be a little bit like the the optional stuff would slow down the story progression too much. Mario, you expected my trouble request? My my, not something. I hope you'll deliver you deliver this Silver Club newsletter routing to slip to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but this hip is really growling at me. Would you take it for me, routing slip? Not sure what it does. Sounds like a position, if you ask me. Or are you just going around and like a bunch of old old people sign it? If it was really uh, something for old people, then then uh, in my opinion, I think uh, we had to have more, even more old people to sign it. But now we're just having three uh, old people sign it. That's that's what the goal is is in this uh, trouble. Is uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit exploring, and we're just gonna uh, be able to talk to all of the. The old NPCs that you find in the game, excluding Professor Frankly, so that means uh, the first old geezer that we need to go out to and talk to is the puny elder from the Great Tree. And now I think I can maybe just uh, wrap up my uh, my little uh, I was going to uh, story with uh, with uh, just the stuff I, I would have or the, the troubles that I could have taken during the interludes. Or the interlude parts, but, you know, didn't decide, decide to. As soon as I was going to, instead I'll just read this dialogue. Well, hey there, Martio. Are you here to listen to me pontificate for a spell? Yeah. Maybe. It's in this form of Silver Club running slip. You came here to give me this? Twilight Town's mayor sent uh, you? The, my last youth found, uh, fountain bath w there was nice, I recall. Well, the slip needs to go to Pellberg Mayor. But uh, my hernia is acting up. Say now, could you take this to the mayor, the Pedalberg, for me? I'm counting on you. That wouldn't hurt. Mm. It'd just make things a whole lot easier just to have this, the same person going around having people sign stuff. But now can I get to, like, the, the whole thing? So, yeah. Um, just, just clarify, uh, it would have been really cool, actually, to uh, be able to, like, slip a few of these troubles in, in there, but... I guess it wouldn't hurt just to do it all in just uh, one specific point in the playthrough, like I'm doing right now. But yeah, maybe it might have been better if I just did it, uh, like a few troubles here and there, in between chapters, and then that's it. That way, uh, every, th there'd be a lot more variety. Did I just bypass uh, uh, Mayor Croup's house again? Or just bypass my destination yet again? Oh boy. I uh, just... Uh, just the, when that happens, when you're like driving and you have a GPS, recalculating, you like gotta make a U-turn past your destination, yeah, stuff like that. 
Murphy, what can I do for you, young man? Er, the Silver Club uh, approval slip. Is that from the puny elder? An old and old so 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 and so. That reminds me, that super blood pressure gauge I was I borrowed from her was great. Since I'm the last one to sign this, it needs to go back to the Twilight Town's mayor. Hack hack patui. But I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. Could you take it to the Twilight Town's Twilight Town mirror? Thanks, Murphy. What? I like to think that uh, those three person involved, the, the three people involved with this routing slip, they're faking the reason why they don't want to do it themselves. So they're just going to ask good old Mario to uh, take care of that for them. And now uh, to get to this section right here where I have to backtrack and more importantly backtrack through uh, or backtack past this guy right, right here. Right? Why did I... Why does that happen where, like, I jump on him and then... Yeah. He just, uh, doesn't... Uh, I don't get the first strike or uh, nothing, really. Instead, I don't know, he just, uh... If I didn't have the chill-out badge, maybe he gets the first strike? They don't know how that works, but... I like how, uh... That Koopa Troll, I think he might have a different, uh, sidekick every time we battled him. Like, he had a Magic Koopa, or, or like, another Koopa Troll, and then... That, in that case, he had a... Uh, Spania. I think that's the name. So, yeah. Still not high enough level just to be able to use my first attack badge on that. Uh, Koopa Troll. It's a real shame. But, I think, um... That might be the last time where we have to go through there. Because I did, uh... Do a, I did do a little, uh, bit of a practice run. Before I recorded. Just to get an idea on how far I can get. In my given, uh, time, time slot for this video, and I uh, knew a, a really good spot to stop. Actually, it's in the middle of uh, a set of troubles that you can do in a certain chapter. But is uh, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way again. Dang it. Second time in this video I've, I've done that, but anyways, I'll go with the, the way I'm going to uh, just handle the troubles in this video later, as we're going along. So now, uh, just make that jump right there. And we have to go back to Miradaro's house. Don't go back to the Trouble Center like I, where I, I thought it might, might have been going. Uh, when you're getting carried away with the commentary, then your gameplay just seems to have a mind of its own. Or like, I don't know, your hands have a mind of their own and just uh, direct you somewhere else you don't want to go. Or you don't intend to go to. Hello, Mario. Did you deliver that last le newsletter routing slip or what? Yeah. The mayor of Petalburg has a cold? Well, tarnations and diddly dangits. Oh, but you brought this back with you. Why, thanks. You sure are a lifesaver. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please take it. 30 coins. Hmm. Well, coins rewards. Alright, we'll get it. We silver clubbers have been going strong for 20 years with our slogan, Age? What? We discuss longevity secrets and the uh, like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years, ha ha. 20 years. Yeah, I might be dead in 20 years. But yeah, Mario's not that old. I mean, he was, uh... Wait, well, he, he debuted in 1981. And... What is that? Mario's 35 years old? But as of the time of, uh... This game being released, that's, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to go in the pipe, but... As of this video, vi or not this video, but as of this uh, game being released, which is 2004, I'm trying to do some simple math here. I think that might be, what is it, uh, 24? Mario's 24 years old in 2004. So, and I'm just getting way, way over myself and just thinking about this, but... Hmm. Are you considered uh, an old man if you're 50 or so years old? I guess so, but that's like a young old man type of status. Like, if you want to uh, file yourself under uh, an old man, you have to be like, oh, I don't know, in your late 60s, early 70s, and beyond that. But anyways, there's... Again, I get out of like, the discussion about old people. Let's take care of the next uh, trouble, gosh darn it. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it at my house at Twilight Town. Alright. 
A good thing with uh, doing practice runs of this is that I did make a few mistakes during the practice run, which I think that's the whole point of uh, doing practices is to iron out or g do all the mistakes during the practice and then they won't show up for the actual uh, uh, events. So yeah, this is a... Uh, it really helps me and you know, I, besides like me just going to the wrong places during commentary, then yeah, I can just... Uh, I know exactly what I need to do thanks to that practice run I just did a few moments ago before I recorded. So, uh, this all begins. Uh, we have to go back to Twilight Town. Is it obvious enough? This, these are like the... Uh, these are the troubles that you can do after you beat Chapter 4. Because you, can, you shouldn't be able to do these troubles during the main chapter of Chapter 4. Because everybody uh, most likely would be piggies. So we gotta go in here, and here's Eve, right here. There's an Eva. Or, eh. When it's E-V-E, -E, it just sounds like Eve. Or is it E-V? Oh, Mario, you selected my friend trouble request. Friend request. We're not in the... In this game, we're not even in the digital age yet. 2004. Not nowhere near there. Well, it's hard to talk about in front of my the children. Can we step outside? You're going to notice all these silent parts because this is going to get a little touchy. I need you to help me uh, to meet someone. His name is Podley, my former love. We had the same dream, to be the stars of the musical at stage. We shared our dreams, and we shared a wonderful love for life. In that cramped little apartment, we held together, poor but happy. But when I finally got a part in a broad stream play as the leading lady... Podley left me. He left a quickly scrawled note that said only this. My dear, I would only dim your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Podley, why? My dream was always to be a, with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted to, only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left the production while I was... Or, while I, I left the production while it was... In rehearsal, I forgot about Podley and my dreams. I got married and lived in the house of a housewife. Or lived the life of a housewife, happy in its quiet comforts. And now, I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is complete now. I have forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Podley was running a Chuckola shop in Rupert. Could you please tell him that I would like to see him again? Tell him that pure-hearted Eve has not forgotten her uh, first love. Yes, pure-hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Bodley and ask how he feels about me. Please, Mario. Mm. Why has Bodley got to be the center of uh, all these emotional scenes? First, it's... Uh, well, he's got to be involved with the emotional scenes, but... Yeah, first it was uh, Bobbery and... Uh, the story like with Bobbery and Scarlet, and now it's... Uh, the story with uh, him and Eve. It's gotta be like a coincidence. Or... Uh, you know, the, maybe the developers knew this ahead of time and say, eh. You got one uh, emotional story involved Polly. Let's, let's get it in another one. So, uh, I think during my practice run, I thought that um, you needed to talk to one of Eve's kids. Because uh, that's what... Uh, the picture in the player's guide does suggest that you do. But nah, it's just the mom. It's, it's Eve, which is the mom person. And you are a person I accidentally talked to. And so here's Podley. So, so familiar. Welcome to Podley's place. An intersection of human lives and drama, as you, if you will. Oh, wow. It's it. Ah, well, uh, coincidence. Drama. Emotion. What's that you say, hmm? What is it, Mario? Tell me. You look so serious. What? Eve? Uh, I'm assuming that like the dots are just like a moment of silence. Maybe some subtle uh, moanings. I know such... Uh, I know no such person. Uh, maybe there's like a long period of dots. But perhaps you could tell this E person something. Tell her, live in the moment. And as I, 
And that is all you needed. Because I'm a little busy. And if you want, if you walk away a little bit. Oh, my Eve. Is that all you needed? Because I'm a little busy. No. And nothing else after that. But um, I did miss that. Um, after after I uh, I walked out walked out uh, during my practice run. And only caught a glimpse of that text box. Yeah. It's to show that uh, he probably does care about Eve. But he doesn't want to uh, admit it to us. Or he tries not to. So with all that, it's relatively short uh, trouble. But I'm making it seem long as it is since I'm reading all the dialogue. Now all we need to do is just uh, go back to Eve. Yeah, I think I'm... Like my time thing might vary for my practice run because I was going through the, the dialogue a little bit faster, so I might have to uh, change a few things of what I was thinking of. Have you met with Bodley? Really? What did he say? We're not going to just talk about this outside. We're just talking in front of the children? Alright. So I'm just going to tell her the truth. So Bodley has forgotten about me. That's fine. I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. You know, I have these little ones to think of. So I have plenty to keep my mind busy. Mommy, so hungry. Food, food. Oh, you're having a feast tonight, kids. I have special dinners from Zesty Shop. Mario, you have one too. The Meteor Meal. Food that refills 7 HP and gradually recovers even more. Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. Alright, we solved it. Also, we got an item that's, in a way, just uh, just like the um, the gradual mushroom. But it's also like the... Uh, it's like a regular mushroom, but, but, but basically they're just a uh, blend together. So, give me a moment as let me go to be adjusting my inventory because uh, I just got a lot of stuff in my uh, inventory that I would like to move around. Plus, I can only store one item, so I want to... Find a way to fix that. So give me a moment. All right. Just uh, it took a little bit. Uh, it just took a little bit of time of freeing up. Uh, or all I really did was just free up uh, inventory space in my uh, storage room. Like I, I sold. Uh, uh, I think like a pow block, fire, some flower flowers, and some super shrooms that were left in my, my storage. Because I could easily just get those, uh, right? I could easily get uh, those items from just the West Side Goods or the Rogueport Square Shop. So like, um, I wanted to just leave all the items in there that I could just use. Uh, or that that would be a, a hassle to find. Plus, uh, yeah. I might find some, or might get some items later on that uh, that are going to be a bit more rare that I would like to hold on to. And so that's what I. Uh, Simply just did during that cut. So now, uh, with that taken care of, let's go ahead and take care of the next shovel. I'm hoping that uh, I didn't, uh, that I did everything there is to do in that last shovel, and I'm not like on a goose chase or whatnot. Just figuring out uh, where did I go wrong. So let's go to uh, Goom Goom, looking for a gal. I'm pretty happy living out here on Kill All Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please come here. Here, come listen to my request. I'm in the storeroom deep in the cave on Kilhaw Key. Out of all places, it's gotta be a place that's so f so far away. And yeah, we can't use the secret entrance to the Pirate's Grotto too, because that leads to uh, only where uh, Cortez's ship is. So unfortunately, uh, that's not an option for us. So what we need to do is, oh, uh, we can uh, just go to Kilhaw Key, not through the the way of just uh, talking to Cortez, but we can just take the blue pipe there. It's a little bit of a shortcut to get there. But um, from there we need to go from or we need to go from just the, the front entrance to the Pirate's Grotto. And then we gotta make our, our way all the way into there, like in the middle of Pirate's Grotto I believe. So that's the plan here. Just take this jump up here. Jump up here a little bit. And just go down the pipe. Just go in there as fast as I could. Or, as I can. Like having my Yoshi out, and then just timing out all the jumps. It's all like that. And also, since I have the first attack badge on, and I have Koops with me right here, and uh, since we're high enough leveled, then I can do this. Let's watch this. You can use Koops. First strike that him. 
I'm not even bothering to try and like juke these prawn plants out because it's too uh, too small a gap way to try and uh, do that. So knock him out just in case if uh, I seem to or I find myself running into him. Switch back to my Yoshi Kool Aid. Now I'm feeling a little bit a little bit ashamed that I call him Kool Aid. Like I I could have came up with a, maybe a little bit more uh, creative name for a, my Black Yoshi, but yeah, you know, I was thinking of uh, Super Mario Logan Black Yoshi. And the fact that he just drinks a lot of Kool-Aid. Yeah, purple Kool-Aid. And that was like the best I could come up with. Because I didn't really plan out uh, what I wanted to name my Yoshi at the time. So now we're just uh, crossing this bridge right here. We're, we still need like, we still have like a long ways to go just to get to where we need to go. And I think I should have uh, went ahead and heal during the, every bit before I started this video, but yeah, it's okay. I did that during my practice run, where I healed. Just in case if I accidentally find myself going into a battle, and then I need the, the extra flower points, or if I really need to, then the extra HP. So, uh, luckily, all the enemies that we, we're going to see in Pirate Scrota, I should wipe this guy out, just in case. So we're high enough level to basically just first attack all of these enemies. So they're no problems to us. Just be sure that you first strike them and not just run into them. Uh, for, for right now, actually, there's a badge that uh, helps with, uh, you know, just mm, taking down enemies real quick. It's actually a badge that uh, you get from the first game. I forget exactly where it is, but uh, just like uh, with that, or just like with this game, pretty much, it did take a while to just get it. Luckily, uh, my attack is just high enough. I don't even need to do the action commands or successfully. So just uh, walk, whack him right there. Uh, I also figured out during the practice run is that you can uh, first strike the bullet bells and they also uh, uh, go down immediately like uh, any of the other enemies. That was a pretty amusing thing to do. Just uh, first strike the bullets and then they, uh, they just uh, fall over like that. So we're almost there, we just gotta just jump on Yoshi, I, I guess, just to save, shave a little bit of time. Like him. Still going over here like like this. Make it sound like I might be a speedrunner, but... Uh, yeah, just the regular running speed from Mario, it, it's just too much. Yeah, I like to ride on Yoshi to speed things up for myself. Keep my sanity in check. Hey, thanks for taking on my treble all the way out here, too. I know it's far. Oh, but it better be worth the reward, since all troubles have rewards, right? I came out here to enjoy island life, island life, but now that I'm here, I just feel lonely. There's no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm chatting up sea turtles here. So all I need to do is introduce me to a nice girl. That's it, a girl. Okay. I guess my type would be petite. What's petite? Definition, please. Younger than me and pretty. Not drop dead hot. Oh, okay. You don't want drop dead hot girls? But, mm. Just, mm. But it feels good to have see drop dead girls. Yeah, I'll just stop right there. Yeah, cute little Goomba gal would feel, er, er, would be just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what I see, fool. I, oh my god. Anyways, uh, please help me, please. Now, you could just simply go to Goombella, but let's have a little bit of fun here and let's introduce him to the other female party members that we have. Hey, how's it going? Do you happen you happen to be a fine, cute girl for... Whoa. Now, that is a very glamorous woman, indeed. But you're kind of uh, old. And you're not even a Goomba. This is all wrong. Remember what I told you? Introduce me to a cute Goomba gal. Now, come on. I'm dying over here. Well, I never. How rude. Go get your eyes checked, young man. I am a prize. <laughs> I think that might have been the first set of dialogue before he's spoken in, like, oh, I don't know, 30 parts. Alright, so. Some of this is going to be repeating, but, like, this is a little bit that's uh, unique. Whoa, you are cute. But, um, the whole goth shadow thing is a bit creepy. There, I said it. There's a, 
There's all so very wrong. Remember what I told you. And that's it. Just repeating dialogue from the what what you said when we had Flurry out. You're not really doing much to impress me either, bud. Bud. Bud? Bub? Yeah, here's, here's Miss Mouse, the last before Goombella. Well, 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 well. This is a cutie. Oh, yes. But you're uh, some sort of uh, rat. Close, but no Goomba. Yeah, I guess the way he says close, but no Goomba is when he's going to repeat dialogue. Hmm, I'd stay out of the dark alleys for a little while if I were you. Ooh. You tell him. Anyways, that's uh, actually talk to him with Goombella out. Hey, how's it going? Did you happen to find a cute girl for... Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She's cute. Really cute. And that bony tail, man. Perfect. Slam dunk, man. Yes. Salam da unk. This may be a bit soon. But I have to confess my love to this girl. Er, ah. Uh, hi. Do you believe in love at first sight, Angel? Because, you know, I do, and... What are you trying to say? Just spit it out. I love you. And, oh, it's the... It's, it's like a shockwave where I it jumped from the floor. I think you... I've loved you for... Uh, since I... Before I was born. Please go out with me. Um, oh. Jeepers. This is awkward. I, uh... I'm going out with Mario. Honest. I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. What? You have a boyfriend? Man, I've had enough of this. Peace. <laughs> or he's like, just shouts peace? Or like, I never got how he said peace like that. Or what I'm supposed to infer from when he said that. Yikes, yeah, I feel like I did uh, something totally brutal. Well, Mario, why don't you take this as a reward for dealing with that guy? You get a couple's cake. Food that slowly refills HP. Can't eat it alone. Now, let's get moving. Solve the trouble. I don't uh, distinctly remember what this couple cake exactly does. But, uh, maybe it's, it's supposed to infer, it's like, uh, you're supposed to, uh, uh, you use it and it uh, heals both Mario and the party member. But, mm, I have to use it myself if I really want to figure out what it does. Actually, let's, uh, Let's uh, get into this battle right here and let's uh, solve the mystery. Yeah, the, the mystery of uh, knowing what the couple's cake actually does. And um, that, and uh, I, I'm not going to be using it anytime soon, so let's. Uh, um, at first, I want to take down the enemy first, or at least one of them. So uh, it'd be easier for me to uh, take care of the other one on my next turn. So I will just knock this over like that, sure. Alright, so now we, let's just uh, try this out. Or do I have any party members that... Uh, no? I guess it maybe doesn't matter if they have less HP or not. Or if my party members does. Or... Oh. Huh. Can't eat it alone, but... Doesn't want to heal Mario? Or what if I uh, try to... Give it... No. So, you're in battle with it. It only gives it to the person in the back. Alright. Wow, is that really all it does? Just gives me a gradual HP status? Or like I get HP every turn? Because if so, that's kind of lame. And I just wasted like, I don't know, a few minutes because of that. So wow, that... That whole... Uh, wait, why did that do defense? That was that's crappy. I didn't remember be Buzzy Beetles have that much defense. Anyways, let's... Oh, okay. Appreciate the double star points. Yeah, I mean... You can totally see the difference between one and two star points. I'll just take it. It's like a blue moon that, that I can get double star points. So I, I better treasure it. But anyways, uh... I don't think I'm gonna find myself having enough time to, uh... Uh, take, in, take care of another trouble. So I think, um, actually I'm gonna cut things off. Actually, I... Or during my practice run, I was able to get in uh, the next trouble after this, but yeah, for the sakes of, uh, there's no way I'm going to be getting that trouble in uh, in this video without going like, oh, I don't know, 40 minutes. 
So I'm going to end things off right here. So I'm going to, uh, as always, uh, meet you guys back at Rogueport Square to uh, begin the next video. Oh, I did that too in my practice run too. So I'm just going to do this and uh, to next time for part 5 of the after game of Chap or Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. As we're going to be taking care of some more troubles. Some that are involving Chapter 6. So till then, I'll see you guys later.